Day 11, morning of day 11. Just got up from the Pleasant Pond lean to. Only have about five point something until Caratunk. It's nice and easy. I did all the hard work yesterday, so I think it's. Yeah, it's just, it's really easy. So, I'm gonna fly through this in a few hours. Get a shuttle into the Sterling Inn. Hopefully, they got my shoes. Um, and just do some chores there, laundry. I'll charge some stuff. Upload some videos. Do a little resupply, even though I have some good stuff. Um, yeah, it was funny when... Some days it's like a struggle to get up and like pack everything up, get my day started. But surprisingly when I know I'm going into a town, I was like packed up in 15 minutes. Which is crazy. Other days it's taken me like a half hour, maybe 45 if I'm just not moving well. But super fast today, so I can get in a care tank and relax at the hostel. Hey, so I got off off the trail. Uh, you can see I'm road walking now to the Sterling Inn. Um, I couldn't get service to, uh, sorry, there's gonna be some cars. Couldn't get service to uh, Column for a shuttle, so it was only a mile and a quarter away, so just did a little road walk. It's still only like 9.45 in the morning, 10 a.m. So I'm gonna have a nice full day here. Uh, so yeah, sign is actually up there. You can see it on the left. So I'm pretty much there. So I'm gonna go uh, check in and uh, yeah, start taking care of all the stuff I have to do. Chores, laundry, video, editing, food, you know, stuff like that. So I made it to Sterling Inn. Um, unfortunately, they did not have my shoes. Uh, so I guess what's going to happen now is I'm going to move the package to another hostel in Rangeley, Maine, which is around 70 miles away. And I'm just going to keep hiking in these shoes. So I was able to do the last... Um, like 30 40 miles from Monson and I only got a few blisters in between toes so you know not the best scenario but I don't think it'll kill me to hike another 70 in these shoes um, so I'm just gonna take it a little slower but the only other option was to wait tomorrow see if they come um, but the post office doesn't open till 2 um, and the river ferry, the Kennebec River Ferry, closes that too. So if I wanted to wait tomorrow, I'd have to lose the whole day tomorrow. And I wouldn't be able to leave until Tuesday. So I'm just going to... I already got off trail early today. Um, honestly, I probably could have kept on hiking. Um, so I'm just going to get on uh, early tomorrow and just head to uh, Rangeley, Maine. Um... So that's a new plan. Unfortunate, but I guess, you know, learning moment, if I'm going to be sending packages to myself, um, you know, don't believe the two day shipping, push it to the next one. Um, so I could have pushed this to Stratton, but I'll be there in probably two, three days. So I don't want to run, play that same game of getting there and not getting the package. So I'm just going to send it 70 miles up and hopefully it's there. Um, Sterling Inn is really nice. Uh, I got a bunk. Hold on. So, this is the bunk room. Um, the rest of the place is just like a B&B.
so it's super uh, really nice not too expensive free laundry um, shuttle into town uh, resupply so I'll try and get as much um, or some food I guess I could go get food in Stratton um, yeah I'm trying to do videos but the upload speed here for the Wi-Fi is not great so I'm trying to I have like five or six videos I'd like to upload but I just they won't upload so uh, yeah so I'm gonna try and figure that out um, and then just logistics um, try and stage out my next few days with food and resupply so that's probably all I'm gonna be doing tonight and then just relaxing catching up talking to friends and family So I'm just getting ready to head to bed at the Sterling Inn um, in the morning, crossing the Kennebec River, which I'm excited for. Um, Ken or Sterling Inn is pretty cool. Bed and breakfast, hostel, um, did some laundry. I ate like a like I, like a kid. <laughs> um, I had uh, a Ben and Jerry's, an entire pint of Ben and Jerry's for lunch. Um, sodas throughout the day and then I ate an entire frozen pizza um, and more soda uh, so I don't know how I don't feel sick right now but yeah didn't eat great but um, a lot of calories um, but yeah overall spent the whole day here kind of bummed about my shoes but you know what it is it is what it is so get back on the trail tomorrow make up some miles and uh, yeah excited to cross the river um, and to, uh, yeah, just get back on the AT. Good night. At like 60 feet. And you could get all the way down to the bottom with just leg core? Yeah. Maybe that's what we'll do. Just colors. Um, it'd be like leg core with colors and... I think, you know, every color is another 10 feet. Coming up to this little, little bridge. Looks like a little walking path through. I guess like a bog. So, I'll take you through it. Um, one thing I'm trying out today, it's different. Um, the sock liners. In gingy sock liners. So, I'm doing the liner and then putting darn tough over the liner. So far it helps. Um, I can still feel a little residual pain from my existing blisters, but I think it does help. So we'll check them out later tonight and definitely tomorrow um, to see if they if they really help. Yeah, it's a cool little section. I know, I'm taking a little break. I was yeah, like, 100%. I'm eating something. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Yeah, I'm eating something. Hey, so. Been hiking with a bunch of people today. I had a Caratunk all over Sobo. It's honestly probably a group of eight, ten of us. Uh, we were all kind of held up by the ferry because it's, as you'll see from the video, um, it's just one guy in a canoe and it could do two people at a time. So there was a line there this morning. It leaves at nine. So no one could really make an early start everyone just kind of bunched up there but the pro is that I get to hang out with a few people hike with a few people um, but i got a little stretched myself right now um, 
We're gonna get rained on today and tonight. So looks like an inch of rain starting at five and ending tomorrow morning. So uh, a lot of rain tonight. So the goal, it's about 1 p.m. right now, is to get as far as I can uh, before I get poured on. Um, a few shelter options, one in seven miles, uh, which I definitely should be able to get to. And then another one in, I think, like 13 or 14. And there's also a campsite in between, so a few different options. Uh, but I'd like to maybe stay in the shelter instead of getting dumped on in my tent. So then I have to pack up a wet tent tomorrow. Um, but if it's not an option, then I will just stay at the campsite and pitch tent in the rain which I haven't done yet so far. It's kind of amazing. I've uh, avoided the rain. So, shouldn't say that. Now I'm probably going to get rained on for like, consecutive days. But, uh, but yeah, so the goal is to get as far as I can before the rain. And then tomorrow, uh, I have some big mountains finally in Maine, the big lows. So, I'll get some 4,000 footers in. Um, also need to play it by ear with the weather there because it's high up there and it's exposed. At least it looks a little bit exposed. I know I'm probably not supposed to be. Shouldn't be up there in non-ideal conditions. Um, so yeah, uh, no other thoughts about Caratonk. Sterling M was all right. Um, probably would stay again. I know a lot of other people stay in Northern Outdoors. So it was kind of a split between people. So then the new um, plan is just to get to Rangeley, Maine, which is about 70 miles from here. And I think I'll hit Stratton, which is only about 20 or 15 from here at this point. Um, so I might do a little resupply in Stratton, but I'm not going to stay there. And then just um, kind of keep pushing on uh, through some of these tough mountains to Rangeley, and that's where I'll get my shoes. Um, Yes, that's the plan. Hey, so just in the tent, um, made it to the lean to for the night. I've been just hanging out with a lot of the hikers here. We formed like a nice little Sobo bubble. Um, probably like six or seven of us that we've been seeing over the past few few days. So we all kind of just hiked, not together, but um, you know, with the same shelter in mind. So we we're just hanging out, eating food. Uh, yeah, it's raining if you can't hear. So that's why I'm in the tent already. Uh, and it, I think it's going to rain all night, so I'm going to close out the video. Um, it was around 15, 15-ish miles today um, from starting at Sterling Inn. Uh, we got here really early, probably around 4. The elevation was low, um, and it was supposed to rain, so everyone was kind of booking it to get here before they got soaked. Um, so yeah, overall, pretty good day. Feeling good. Um, and ready for, I know it's going to start getting really hard. We're going to start hitting 4,000 foot mountains the next few days. So, um, yeah, so I'm feeling rested, ready for that. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.